And we also need to, I guess it's just, just a screen. Yeah, I'm just going to raise it a little bit. Too. Well, there's a switch on the back. Yeah, I got it up on. Yeah. Yeah, he's just raising it up for us. There it is. <laughs> Look, there's Eileen. Eileen's on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. Oh, hello. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's, I'm sure that's what it's there for. Oh, of course. I think that's what's happening. Can we hear anything, though? <laughs> So I wonder if it's uh, supposed to take power from this. Hopefully, this delivers power. Oh, so just plug in as, as yeah. good as a fire can get. I wonder if that's an issue with this computer or with the splitter that it could, it could be the USB that's not getting enough power for sure. Um, oh wait, no, now that's going to help. It was turned off. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so we go there. So is this volume then? Oh, it's volume. Eileen, can you hear us? Can you say something? Eileen, can you talk? Yeah, yeah, I can talk. I just had to unmute myself. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Talk again. La, 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 la. All right. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Thank you. I'm not doing that, but I'm curious. 
you have a Friday inspiration today? Morning. Can you hear us? Good morning. I do. Give me one second and I will find it. It's actually, I actually have it right here. Ah, I lied. Look at our amazing facility, you guys. Isn't this amazing? Where he has this morning is amazing up here. We're in the top level. Thank you, Kyle Tran, their event coordinator. Who is the potential new member? Okay, you ready? Yeah, yes. we're ready. Okay, if you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping in a room with a mosquito. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, do we have any guests this morning? Mr. Strand, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Kyle. Okay. Wait, wait, Kyle. Oh, okay. So I was a single, but uh, uh, I'm a best coordinator in Marina and Vita. So uh, welcome. Uh, I used to be a lot of fun. I used to do boys and girls back in the day. I uh, worked for like seven years. And everything from like program director to after school director to athletics, uh, fundraising, golf tournament, all that kind of stuff. Kind of missed it. So that's what I'm trying to get back into that. And you guys didn't get that opportunity. So welcome. Oh, thank you. Okay, so for Thursday's day, which is uh, today through Thursday, for birthdays, birthday anniversaries, wedding anniversaries, and um, spouse birthdays, all we have is our favorite guy, Mr. Kevin O'Brien, whose birthday is 1028. Coming up, so happy birthday, Kevin, wherever you are. Okay, announcements. So today uh, we do have Polio World Polio Day. Um, let me see here. Rotary World Polio Day is 24, and Eileen has put a post up, so please share, like, all of that. Um, we have been talking about putting a group together to go to the annual foundation dinner, which is on May 13th, which is during the district celebration that is May 13th to 15th of the semi August, which is only an hour and 15 minutes away from here. Um, a reminder that we do have club training on our district YouTube channel. Um, the Rotary International Convention is in June in Houston, if anyone is interested in putting that together. Um, and we do have our holiday party coming up December 8th at 5.30. Um, TBD location, I'm talking to Rustic Court, um, which would be an amazing facility, but we're also talking to Kyle, the best partner here at Meathead, maybe using this room. Um, so our choice would be, uh, um, I believe it's a December 8th is a Monday or Wednesday, over at Rustic Court, or maybe we do a Sunday afternoon here. Do you guys have a preference over a weeknight versus Sunday afternoon? Well, I've been talking to Kelsey about the eight, but then talking to Kyle, and after seeing this fabulous location right here, and the cost, and bar food. Beer versus wine. Well, and beer, well, wine, too, wine cider. So Kelsey's facility, we would have a choice. It depends on how many people go, if it's cost effective, whether we want to pay $500 to rent out for a whole tour, or we want to pay 200 and just get the back section. If we have 25 people or under, we do the back section, we have more on the beautiful restaurant, but it's $500 off the top, plus bottles of wine and food, which is all great. She has amazing wines, the food is amazing. Um, but we would, it just depends on if it's cost effective how people were really going to come. We had 25 people that came to our annual dinner, so I've been kind of using that as a guide. Um, <laughs> for our choices, um, something <laughs> um, or we, our choices, we come here and we, um, do a buffet of pulled pork and brisket and salad, and then you get two drinks, you get 
and we go downstairs and get to get a beer or wine or uh, cider, or they're going to have um, an electric kombucha <laughs> um, coming soon. So we have two different great facilities. Um, and they don't have to run for these sorts of things. Uh, there would be a Sunday, we do Friday things off. You do the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we can do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but what do you guys prefer? Are you Do you want to do Wednesday night? Yeah. 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 Weekend, weekend, here. Weekend, done. Okay. I haven't heard of any of this, so. Either. This is great. Two partners, partners? Oh, definitely great partners. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zoomers, do you guys prefer weeknights or weekend for a holiday party? Let's say a Friday, but that's up to everyone else, but I don't mind. Friday. I'm with Kyle. A Friday would be better for me. So I agree, Friday. What what date? We're looking at maybe the tenth, but we need to coordinate with me heads. They don't, they don't have their calendar. Okay, so we'll update you. I'll tell our guests to show you. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Then we'll we'll look at a we'll look at a uh, weekend, a Friday. Um, okay, so that's it for my announcement. Um, can you have a past president's report today? No, except that I'm happy to be here and virtually see everybody. Sorry, I couldn't make it there in person, but I've got a meeting here in a few minutes, so I got a jet. But great to see everyone. Sorry, I haven't been around. I've been pretty busy. Yeah, a little busy. Yeah. Um, thank you, uh, Lori. We have treasurer report. Uh, I'm trying to think what's that like report. Uh, Zoomers, can you hear Lori? I can't remember if I have anything to report. Everything's okay. good. Everything's awesome for Treasury. Okay. Okay. Official report. Um, Gary, do you have anything to report? Okay. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome back. Mahalo. We're happy to see you. We did show up at the school district uh, in last week, and uh, nobody turned in how to turn the lights on. So we all just kind of stood in the dark, waiting for you. That's okay, because I was in the dark also. <laughs> Three hours different. I wasn't going to play a Jim Hagen and get up at 4.30. <laughs> you all are great, but 4.30, uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> next board meeting is in November. I forgot the date. So, however, uh, the biggest thing is the district has two different types of uh, submissions for clubs. Uh, one would be nomination of the Rookie of the Year, McLean Community Project, International Project Award, Rotary Public Image Award, Fundraiser Award, and Innovative Club Award. And so if we wanted to apply for any of those, we have to do that ourselves and apply to the district. And we have to send it to uh, Sean. Uh, and, and, uh, do we need to form a committee? When I look at that list, I think that we are would have a very good chance of doing an innovative club because Ken totally rocked getting us online during COVID and we had really great attendance. I think we would have a pretty good shot at an award for innovative club. But and our Tuesday night thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. think, I think there would be enough items that we could apply for something, put our, put our name in on it. Plus, our club has been growing, or a lot of clubs have not been growing. Yes, that was one thing during the test they talked about was really the biggest problem with COVID was diminishing attendance and diminishing number when ours was growing. And so I kind of had to, I did say, it, like, we're good. And, but then I had to kind of just button it up because everybody else was sad. Oh yeah, we're on the road. We're innovating. On the road again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're on the road. Yeah. We get well, you know that's weird, but yeah. 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 So, so how do we do? We need a foreign committee to do 
I would think that if we got five or six people uh, and we start going through, you know, I think, yeah. Okay, is anyone interested in being on a, on a committee? Do uh, put together an innovative club award package to turn in this website award. I'll do it. Barry, Chris, Katie's numbers interested in being part of an innovative club award submission package. Submission one. Chris, Chris is on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good morning. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. Good. Um, okay, so then we move on to Chris Gallo is not here for his good appointment this morning, but to the left. Uh, we move on, okay, club service. We need a club service. Um, Keith is uh, obviously still too busy with work. We've been asking and asking. We're getting to the point where you're going to get tapped. So is there anyone that wants to volunteer to do club services before we tap a volunteer? Let's get somebody that's not here. <laughs> just tell them that, you know. That's the thing, yeah. That's why we always show up. Though. So if you don't show up for me. Okay, uh, is there anyone, any Zimmer, are you any guys that's interested in doing club services for us? Which is really making sure we have a meeting spot and um, coffee and all of that. At some point in time, breakfast. At some point in time, breakfast, possibly, maybe. No one. Okay, forget so. Well, I've got an offer. I'll do club services if somebody wants to do programs. <laughs> <laughs> that is so generous of you. That gives everybody an offer. They can choose which one they want. So that is an innovation of work right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, is there anyone that's interested in doing programs, which really is just tapping, you get to talk to fascinating people in our community, actually across the globe, because they can zoom in. To do their presentation from anywhere, and um, you can tap your friends, your college buddies, people in the community, people you see online, people in the news. We've had great speakers. It's not hard for people to work on. And um, been doing it two and a half years. And it's easy. You're so good. <laughs> You'll do programs. <laughs> And it's actually the nice thing about programs is something you can do easily remotely too. Yeah. There's yeah. one service that's kind of needed to be there. Well, congratulations, Mr. Club Services. Uh, and Miss Programs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This breakfast is better be amazing. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, uh, we had our first event this past Tuesday over at uh, North uh, Lakeshore Swim Beach Park. Um, we had actually uh, quite a few people that showed up in regards to um, the current members that we have. Uh, we were able to get a lot done, but I think we overestimated how much we were falling in regards to the weeds. <laughs> we didn't get to put down any sand. Um, Jim uh, was there, and then we had 
Connor, Chris, we had who else? We had Valo, we had oh goodness. We had we had a kiddo there that was amazing. Um he came with I can't remember who he came with, but he was absolutely helpful and he was willing to participate. It sounds like he was doing it because he might have been doing it for maybe he got in trouble at home, but <laughs> he was willing participant. We had a great time. Uh, but we definitely need to do some more work in regards to fixing up the area. Uh, I know when I talked with Jamie Scogan at work with the city about working on the fence there and repainting it because it's looking pretty decrepit there. And then, yeah, so I think that's a good place to probably just end up possibly adopting down the road. I think if that's the case because it's not that large of an area that we can really do as a club. Um, and then, yeah, and then we're still trying to focus on getting more members. So if anyone knows anyone that's interested in joining, please send them our way. We're, we, right now, we only have really a few of us that are actually like, that are going to be consistent as the um, members that are trying to get to the evening club. But if you guys have anyone that's interested or wants to predict, just please send a message to them or send it to my way or here or anybody. And we'll try to get them on over and uh, explain them what our goal is and how we can uh, meet their goals as well. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so for those who didn't hear, they had an event on Tuesday of cleaning up the swim beach. It looks amazing. There's a before and after pictures that have either been posted or are going to be posted on the Facebook page. Uh, just thank everyone for showing up and you know anyone that might be interested in joining our Rotarians in action which is Tuesday night please send them Kyle's way or send them a message with information um, so they have more people that show up and actually um, enjoy and do stuff and learn about Rotary and have a good time. Thank you Kyle. Um, Eileen do you have anything for public relations? Uh, yes, I just posted those pictures. I apologize. I was a little bit tardy in getting those up, but they are up on uh, the Facebook page now, the before and after photos um, from the cleanup on Tuesday. So they're there. And if you guys have anything that you want me to post, um, Jim, thank you for sending me the photos. Um, just send them to my email or uh, phone and I will make sure that they get up on Facebook. Thank you so much. Um, okay, IT, Mr. Chris Martin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some new equipment that seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it looks easy to assess uh, our new stuff, and that's about it. Awesome. And thank you, John and Chris, because we are on the road. Because we can have our meetings anywhere. We can go to the car, we can come to us, we can go to Target, wherever. <laughs> We can be happy. We're on the road. So we need that theme song from on the road again. We do need yes. Road again. <laughs> yes. Can't yes. wait to get on um, the road again. Okay. Um, so our sergeant of arms, official in uniform. Hey, Ken, is it the truth? Specify, you just said badge. Yeah. Do you have your teacher's badge? Yeah, Kyle's in the way. Always, it's important to have it on here. Nails, that's not one. All right, so the next one, hopefully, we'll build this up on this one. Since it's the first home game of the Kraken on Saturday, if you're not wearing Kraken gear, you're on the Are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Man, Kendra. 
So yeah, it was great clean up uh, on Tuesday. But, uh, we just got under the wire and get a little dark there at the end, but uh, but it came out really nice. So uh, we're looking to add some sand and, and clean up the uh, folks here. The time and uh, see, I got to leave the studio. So, uh, yeah, I thought about that. Uh, I'm happy the speaker worked. Uh, it's my world. I think something to just work. <laughs> It's just waiting. It's just waiting for me. 
Like, I'm happy as you tried it, and I'm happy to be here with you again. <laughs> I forgot one. Um, I just got texted by Dave. He is in Austin right now at the Formula One races. He's really excited Ooh. that he's at the track. So Dave says hi from Austin. Oh, that's really cool. Party starts in. Something with some places. I got a happy few uh, Venmo dollars. Uh, after having a hole in my backyard and moved to Washington for six months, my pool is back on track. Again. Ready to go. So, uh, a lot of uh, lost sleep, a lot of legal issues, but it's back. So, and just a reminder that we're on the road. Yeah, again. <laughs> yes. We can go to that. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I think we're all on the road. Uh, do, does our virtual people have any happy thoughts? Well, I was, um, I put it in the chat, but I got a dollar for the, the, the S show in Pullman. Um, that is Paul Cougar football right now. But I did go to WSU last weekend and visit my son for the first time since August. Um, and he's doing fine, getting good grades. And um, he, he uh, hasn't drank a drop of alcohol, he told me. So we're good. There's a dollar. Can you coach? I don't know. He may, we may have to find out. <laughs> I saw Eileen's hand up. Yes, I have a check that I have been uh, remiss in sending in. So $5 today, so it's a total of 20. Um, I'm just happy it's Friday and next weekend our bathroom remodel will be done and that will make me very happy. I got something wrong. So I got, I got five happy bucks. The first one, you know, voting, I, I voted and I, Thought long and hard, did a ton of research, and I'm happy to announce that Jim, I also voted for you. It was a hard decision. Your your competition was early red and and vetted him out very very thoroughly. But I went with you. You know the the good thing about that whole thing is you didn't have to see my signs all over town. <laughs> right. The real happy bucks is, as you know, um, uh, involved the Lake Stevens Food Bank. We're running our empty bowls, which is November sixth on that Saturday. We had seven VIP tables. I'd like to officially announce we have now sold out our VIP tables and our Rotarian of the Year. Christine not only donated $2,500 as a sponsor, she also picked up the last table. So she truly is, uh, is a Rotarian of the Year and somebody that we should be extremely proud and happy that she's a part of our community. So thank you. Nice. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a dollar for Wazoo. I think we're I'm hoping we're gonna win this game this weekend because you know with the coaching staff. But I think uh, I think we're gonna do it. I think we were able to overcome those couple of losses we had there to get back in the third place in our conference. So we'll keep that up. Uh, two, I think uh, for voting, I agree. I think you know everyone should vote and do their research and make sure because you know everyone's everyone's vote whether you think so or not actually counts in the end. Um, and then the last three is basically to our school here. We've We've had a lot of kids that are overcoming a lot of resistance and trying to understand what we're doing and trying to keep positive with not having enough stuff sometimes, but I think we're all willing to do it and we're having a great time. And then the last part would be also for uh, Lake students tonight. Hopefully uh, we're going to win our homecoming game tonight. And have a great day. And I'm off. I got to go. <laughs> Thanks. All right. I'm excited um, for tomorrow to be at Starbucks. Um, Speak up if you can, Jackie. What? Speak up if you can. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. Just um, happy bucks for uh, tomorrow at the Harvest Festival. I'm excited to be there. Um, I, I love seeing the kids, so that's one of my favorite things. And um, happy bucks that I voted. Jim, you got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that makes three. That makes that makes three. There you go. You win. I got one more happy dollar. Curious question for Ken. Ninety-one to six. What is up with your high school football teams? Uh, that was a misprint. It was <laughs> nineteen to six, really. Okay, that wasn't the truth, but um, you don't know how many questions and meetings I've had over that score this week. It's been, it's been a source of uh, lots of questions, but 
honestly, and I'm going to tell you this sincerely, we did not run up the score. No. Um, it's, it was kind of embarrassing. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, are you ready, Melinda? Do you have that introduction on? Nope. Okay, so you guys, this is Melinda. Hi, Melinda. And she owns Burkhead Art Center. Art, Art Center. Art Center. Um, this is her facility is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And this is where we went um, last week to do our bowling night, where we, we went and painted bowls to donate to the food bank for their empty bowl tent. And I have them all. But they were today. Oh, they're here. Oh, you're kidding. So we have some here. Um, thank you so much for bringing them because we're dying to see them. Um, it was, and so anyway, she does classes and all kinds of things. So she's here to tell you about her facility um, because I think we should have another event there because we could bring our own food in. We brought in wine and beer and we were creative and um, there's no Wi-Fi there. So none yeah. of us were sitting on our phones and emailing clients while we we're supposed to be focused on the event. It literally is Wi-Fi there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, wait, sorry, there's no cell. Is it the truth? There was no cell service. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. I, first, I want to say thank you, Eileen, for um, you guys. Um, um, she reached out to me uh, a couple months ago and said, Oh, do you guys have any artists I want to donate some goals? And, you know, she got my email because I just started my business. And so um, I finally hired somebody, and I'm like, I oh, got 2,000 emails in my inbox. Can you? Open during the week when we're in our class. That's mostly the end. 